Przemek Kosiński na MMA.pl. Ze mną jest James McSweeney, który zmierzy się z Thiago Silwą na gali KSW 45 w Londynie. Uh, hello James, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thank you for having me on. Uh, nice to have you back. Uh, last year you should fight in Dublin. Well, not happened. Uh, you you come back now. Are you happy that you're coming back to, to KSW? Yeah, I'm really happy to be back. Um, um, even in Dublin, it wasn't my fault and it wasn't KSW's fault. Um, we showed all medical, we passed as normal, and uh, the sanctioning team seemed to have an issue that we told them and they showed them all the documentation to pass. I've never seen anything like that before where we do the way in and have two opponents. And it was, to me, I've been in this industry over 20 years, and that was the first for me. And I was still shocked to this day that it happened. I mean, I fought three months after that, and I've been fighting all this year. So. It was it was surreal that I even happened, but um, moving forward, yeah, I'm happy to be here, and uh, I just can't wait to fight. <laughs> so uh, was all good now with the Save MMA? Was no problems at all this year? Well, no, they asked me to go. They said they thought I had a, a problem with epilepsy, and I never got diagnosed with this. Um, um, so, so they wanted to get me cleared. I went to see a neurologist uh, over six months period in Phuket, where I live, and got cleared um, within three months. They made the whole process of check me check me over a period of time got cleared to produce it a safe MMA after three months they wasn't happy they said it had to be six months another three months more test 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 got cleared again they said oh it had to be another two weeks <laughs> wait 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 get tested again and then bang finally we get they finally uh, uh, are satisfied but uh, at the end of the day they're not a sanctioning body in England and um, I understand that they had to keep an eye on all the fighters and make sure it's safe but you have to go with if a, if a trained neurologist who's a doctor that does brain surgery I mean he's not a, a GP down the street he's a brain surgeon clears you and says Mr. McSweeney is cleared to fight mixed martial arts, totally neurologically clear and healthy to compete, then that's it. You can't, that can go to court. You can't question that. So, um, but they still try to question him and he wasn't happy. But we passed, we moved forward and uh, I feel great. So, just happy to fight. How do you feel that you're coming back to Wembley? Because two years ago you submitted uh, Marcin Ruzalski here. So you're coming back to the same arena. It's going to be apparently again absolutely fantastic crowd from the fans. And how are you feeling about that to back again in, in, in London? Uh, it's great for me because, as you said, two years ago, um, I think that Marcin had a massive following when I fought here. And even though it was my hometown, he had a huge Polish support. And of course, I was a new guy coming then to uh, Wembley, so into KSW. So a lot of the Polish fans have embraced me a lot since that fight. And I think um, they kind of take me on and I've been very, very thankful. I get so many messages from the Polish fans. At the end of the day, it's not about where you're from. It's just fight fans. They enjoy you fight. Some do, some don't. So being back in Wembley, have them same fans come again. I think that it's going to really be electric. Uh, it's going to be a great show. As as the beginning, you should fight with the Michał Andryszak. He get injured. That you get the Thiago Silva, who will come probably to the heavyweight division first time. So it's it's make any difference for you to fight with him than Michał Andryszak. You change something in your camp on the last time or no? Um, yes, because I find out late notice that um, Mikhail was out. Um, um, Tiago has fought a heavyweight in ACB before, okay, so yes. but not not a lot. He's always a 93 kilo. Yes, He's always yeah. a light heavyweight, but he has fought heavyweight. So um, I'm not. I wasn't surprised that he stepped in because. Um, he's a veteran, he's a great fighter, he's a real fighter, he wants to fight everybody at any given time, he likes to fight, so that's that's great for him to step in, I'm very thankful he stepped in because without him I'd have no fight. I don't know what happened to Mikel or uh, what, what injury he got or sickness, I, I wish him the best, but for me as soon as I got the word that I had uh, Thiago, uh, I was just happy to move forward and uh, just get get my preparation. Of course, it's a difference fighters because you've got someone who's six foot seven, six foot eight, and then I've got a six foot fighter. So, and of course, in my opinion, um, Thiago is a more all-round opponent. He has a black bone jiu-jitsu. He's fought uh, UFC for many years and the big show. He's a lot of experience. He knows how to fight and he's very tough. So for me, it was a tougher fight, but uh, we adjust, we made the adjustments and I I'm very happy for the fight. So if you win, you still want to stay with the KSW and fight for this organization? 
Oh yes, for sure. Um, because uh, it was kind of put out there that Mia Mikel was going to fight, and whoever won that fight, and of course, I think the, they were pushing towards Mikel to win that fight, would go for the title shot next. The, it looks like the same thing. We got uh, Badoff getting a rematch uh, with Philip, and then of course m now me and Tiago. And I'm sure if Tiago beats me, he'll be looking for a world title shot too. Um, but he's not going to beat me. And I want that title shot. I want a rematch against Baydorf or I want to fight Philip. Um, I'm, I, I'm, I have a four fight deal with KSW and I'm happy to fight for them. And that, can you tell me what's happened in Sweden? Because you fight with the previous champ, uh, Fernando Rodriguez in Sweden. You lost there and I, I, before your fight, to be honest with you, I thought you are going to knock him out as his last two fights. Was, he was the, the Marcin finished him, Marcin Ruzarski finished him very quick in 13 seconds. Then Michal finished him in 16 seconds. And I thought when I see that you're going to fight with him, it's going well, to be a quick fight for the James. And then tell me what's happened. It was something went wrong that you, that you lost this fight. And, and as, 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 as you, you know, you're striker and then and I think it's gonna be more easy for you to finish to finish this guy no um, nothing went particularly wrong I had a, I had a hamstring pull but that wasn't to do with the game plan but uh, if you see the fight against Rosowski and you see the fight against Mikel uh, Fernando just run straight at them yeah, yeah, yeah and they just went bum and they hit him and he fell down I was expecting this he didn't do it against me, so maybe he learned his lesson. So he ran and he keep his distance from me. And if you watch the fight, I, I just cut him off. It was a world title fight and they told us five rounds, world title. After the third round, um, they put stuff on my face and they said the fight is over. Really? And I said, hey, it's five rounds. And my corner team went crazy. Because to be honest, if we knew it was three rounds, I would have uh, pushed further. But I see in the end of the third, end of the second and beginning of the third, he start to come down. He started to do less. So I thought, okay, fourth round, I'm going to push the pace, take him down, and I'm going to go to work. And uh, they cut the fight. And then it was a split decision. He won. And I was like, this is absolutely absurd. It's a world title fight. You tell us five rounds. After three, you stop the fight. Uh, even their cornerman come in to do, my, to do my, my... Even he didn't know. And I said, no one tell us. How, why, why the change? And I, to this day, I don't know why it changed. But no excuses. He won the fight. Um, I had him for MMA for almost two years. So for me, I wasn't in no rush. I was hoping to go out there and get rid of the ring rust, enjoy the time. I was fully in control of that fight. Uh, I felt no danger. I put pressure on him. I cut him off. I, I let him run. I, I make my space. I command the cage. And uh, I, 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 I've believed even in three rounds, I won that fight. But... It was a split decision they gave it to him, but I, I don't know why. But at the end of the day, I got the minutes that I wanted. I got rid of the ring rust, and um, this won't happen uh, on Saturday, I assure you. So I'm thinking that KSW is going to put you against Mariusz Pudzianowski because that fight in Dublin, you should fight with Mariusz. So it wasn't happen at all. So for me, it was a bit surprised that you're going to fight with Michał, to be, to, be honest, to be honest with you. So if... If the fight you win fight with the with the with the uh, Thiago, so you facing to you 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 think you're gonna face Carol after, or if Federation ask you to fight with Marius who lost to Carol his last fight in first round by submission, so it's no matter with who you will fight, or you more prefer fight with Carol. I would prefer the fight with Carol because uh, when he beat me last time, I had I was I was quite sick on the day and I was a little bit sick before the fight. He won the fight. There's no doubt about it. Carol's a great fighter, uh, a great competitor, and been a great champion. Um, I would love that rematch, but I want the rematch. I mean, if he wins the belt, then I want to go for him for the rematch. If he doesn't win the belt, then I want to go for Philip. Um, you know, we're all here for for the belt. That's it. You know, of course, if my pride was involved, I'd say yeah, I want to take this fight, that fight. But it's not about that. Um, um, this is a business and uh, what's mo what makes sense for KSW and what makes sense for me and that's the fight I'm, I'm looking to do. I'm looking to progress. I mean for me to fight uh, Pujanovsky, I was happy to fight Pujanovsky after one year off because it was a great introduction back to the MMA world because for me I believed it was an easy victory in my opinion and also he have a huge following and it would also put me back into the Polish fans uh, eyes and hopefully they come and support me moving forward. That fight didn't happen and of course his fight with uh, Jay happened and it was an ugly kind of fight didn't really happen and yeah you know so then of course Carol got what I wanted he got that introductory fight back in in, and of course he finished him really quick so fair play to him and that's great but of course we have unfinished business um, but at the end of the day it's all about coming for the belt so for sure tomorrow on the way we're not gonna see three three fighters who step on the weight. <laughs> 
I never thought that would happen last time, so fuck knows. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen again. If it does, there'll be a fight on stage. Mm -hmm. And are you prepared for this fight here in London, on your place? No, I have my own gym in Holland, in Thailand. Um, I was uh, in Patong, in Phuket. Um, I prepare f about eight weeks there. And then I was lucky to have some good training partners there. Uh, I trained with, uh, sparred with uh, Amir Agdabar, who, who fights for ACB. He's the Greco gold medalist Olympian. And uh, then Polish fighter, he, that's right. I trained fighter. him for that fight, okay. and he trained with me that whole camp. And then uh, Mark Hunt was in Thailand, so I trained with him and sparred with him. Then I came to Paris and I trained and sparred with Jerome Labana, who's in my corner right now. And then I went to Holland and had three weeks there with my coach. And uh, and now the last week we've had here. So uh, it's been a great camp I, i've trained very very hard i'm very focused for this fight uh, thank you for your time james uh, i wish you good luck on the saturday it was nice and pleasure to have you here thank you very much thank you